My name is Claire Balding and I first came to the British Racing School nearly 40 years ago when it had just opened. I was amazed at its scale and ambition. 180 acres on the edge of Newmarket, the home of horse racing, this is a training centre of excellence. It's also home to over 70 ex-racehorses who are all helping to educate the next generation of jockeys and stable staff. The British Racing School was established in 1983 to help youngsters from all walks of life, whether they had lived around horses before or not, so that they could follow their dream of working in racing. Really fortunate here at the British Racing School to be in a unique position to, to make a difference for the sport of horse racing and for the young people we train. Um, and that's thanks to, to our facilities, to the amazing team of staff that we've built up over, well, over 40 years, um, and, and also, of course, the horses that we have here. So the British Racing School has, has changed many lives over, over the last 40 years, and, and we, we really aim to, to do the same again in the next 40. And the real key to this, and lots of people in horse racing will understand this, it's, it's the horses that, that really make the difference. Um, you know, lot, lots of young people aren't, aren't suited by, by the education system of today, but they come here and they're outside, they're with other young people who share the same passion as them, and they're around the, the wonderful animal that is, is the racehorse. And, uh, and that you know, just gives them a purpose in life, a, a sense of achievement. Often they find that, that they've struggled at school, but they come here and they really flourish and they find something they're good at. I, I think racing is, is really focused on becoming much more diverse as an industry, as a sport, and, and we, we are at the forefront of that and we want to remain so. The racing school's always been a welcoming place and the only sort of barrier to coming in is wanting to be here and wanting to be involved with horses and, and other than that there is no barrier and we need to continue to work really hard to make sure that people can come, can experience racing, can get into this wonderful sport regardless of their background, regardless of the barriers that, that their lives have put up for them. We need to, we need to help them break those barriers down and, and that's, that's really what we're, we're passionate about doing. So over the past couple of years really we've, we've really expanded the number of entry routes into the foundation courses and, and other courses here at the British Racing School. We've done that a bit ourselves through the Newmarket Pony Academy and, and working with with a number of youngsters who've had sort of specific physical disabilities and, and challenges, but, but also with um, the Riding a Dream Academy. Um, and then as I say, you know, physical disability doesn't need to be a barrier either. And um, I think Harry Enright proves that, proves anything's possible really. That lad, you know, he's just so inspirational. Born in Lewisham, born without his left hand, working in, in racing, riding racehorses every day. You know, if, 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 if Harry can do it, then anyone can yeah. We, we run our yard obviously like, like a racing yard in order to prepare the young people but that means that the horses here get to, get to keep that sort of routine that they're used to within racing. They do a very similar job for us here than they were doing whilst they were in training but um, with slightly less, less pressure. Lots of our horses stay here for, for many many years and it's, it's a wonderful home for them and, and they give so much to us and um, it just, just works really well. Yeah, so on completing a foundation course here, the young people move uh, into a workplace with a racehorse trainer, so paid employment, but also continue on an apprenticeship program with us. So they continue to get support from our team of workplace instructors who are you know, crucial to what we do. Um, and, and that means education and training, but also continuing pastoral support and, and help as they transition from you know, really being home based to, to living independently and in the workplace. Yeah. In our 40th year we've we've launched a environmental sustainability training module which can be rolled out across the industry and we've also launched our own internal environmental sustainability plan about what we're going to do as, a, as an organisation to, to get to net zero. Hello, I'm Julia Budd and I'm the Chair of Trustees at the British Racing School. It's a role I've had for the last two years and feel very privileged. At its core, clearly, we are here to serve racing and to serve the racing community. 
uh, and therefore we work with a whole range of stakeholders to ensure that we train young people, but also trainers, racing secretaries, yard staff, people in management, to be active members of the racing community. But we do something beyond that and more special. We help young people and we help them change their lives. So often people come here who haven't worked well in the classroom system, who don't feel that they've succeeded. And 18 weeks after they leave us, they've got self-esteem, pride, discipline, and a job. And that is a really special thing. And I think if you talk to any member of staff, any trustee, that impact on people's lives is the thing that they care about enormously. I think in terms of what the school needs to deliver in the future, we need to continue to deliver to our core. I mean, there is a shortage of, of work riders, of racing staff. We need to continue that. But if you look at what we've done in terms of broadening that, in terms of working in partnership with the Riding a Dream Academy, with the Racing Media Academy, creating our own New Market Pony Academy, the work we're doing to ensure that we're bringing more people into the sport, enabling people to get access to the sport that we love, and bringing in the next generation to racing, that will be something that we will continue to work on and to evolve. Racing is an extraordinarily special industry and often it doesn't shout its, its successes enough from the rooftops. It gives people opportunities to develop themselves, to work hard, but also this extraordinary sense of kinship. Um, people can travel internationally, but they really feel that the organisation and, and, and the industry cares about them and that's what I think is so special about it. Hi, my name is um, Zach, I'm 16 and I'm from Barbados. I've been here on course 368. My instructor, Miss Aggie, she's brought me on so far. She's taught me almost everything I know really. And yeah, before I even came to Tim Vaughan's, I started riding out 2020 lockdown. I had a bit of a problem at home, so I moved to my dad's and in Barbados and he had a horse in his backyard and I just used to gallop on the beach bareback snack for a couple of mangoes on the way home, she did everything and I never rode in a saddle before I really came to the UK. Since I've been with BRS I like the people, the people are the best thing, all the instructors that was helpful, the horses is the main thing and um, my overall experience just being here has just been amazing, you would have never thought. My biggest thing obviously was fitting in, um, leaving because I was in Barbados for a bit before I came here, leaving my friends back at home and meeting new people into a whole different life, really. It's changed my view of life, to be honest. It's given me so much opportunities. It's opened me up to so different friends. I was a bit scared to come and be ours because I didn't think I was going to fit in with everyone or make any friends, but it's been the best thing I've ever done. It's honestly been incredible. It's definitely been the best experience I've had here. Um, I made so many new friends, the instructors here are so lovely and so good, they really do help with your like confidence um, and just everything really, just teamwork and they really help just in general, anything you're struggling with they're really here for you. When I first came I wasn't 100% sure if I would stay like into racing, it was sort of just, I, I wanted to be in it but I didn't really know how. And, really want to become a jockey, that would be my absolute dream. I, I think it has evolved, the school. Um, the, the training has always been amazing and, and remains so. But when I first came here, I think the training was almost like a blanket training. Everybody was treated very much the same. And over the years, I think the school has begun to treat individuals as individuals. So it's much more tailored to everyone's requirements, everyone's challenges all the way through. So that we try and get the very best out of every student when they go and work in the workplace. It is a starter for so many people who work in racing and so many of the leading jockeys started out here and I think when you talk to them they are immensely grateful for the grounding they got here.
But it, it is, I think, increasingly, as I was saying, I think we're, we are taking uh, students in from a whole range of sources now, much wider range than perhaps we did 10 years ago even. Here. And I, I, I just wish that more people felt free just when they're in Newmarket to pop up here for half an hour and have a look round. One of the main reasons I was late into racing was because uh, I grew up with dyslexia um, and my mother thought it would be the best idea to me to get uh, education behind my back so I had to stay in school and college just to make sure uh, I had something uh, to fall back on. The time I was in BRS uh, I learned a lot actually, I learned everything I needed to know to get into a yard. Um, I started very basic, uh, having no background in racing, uh, n never riding. Um, obviously when I, was a, when I was a really young kid I had uh, ponies and things like that but uh, middle age I never really rode or had anything to do with horses so I came here with zero knowledge and I left with all the knowledge I needed to know to get into a yard. The BRS changed my life really, uh, it gave me uh, a career uh, that I never really thought I could have uh, growing up as a kid. Um, I was very lucky to, to be able to learn everything I did at the BRS and they sorted me out with a job with Mr Haggis who is currently my boss now. For me there weren't very many female jockeys riding at the time. So that would have been one thing that um, I was kind of worried about getting into racing, but now there's so many girls doing well and I feel so lucky to be part of racing. Uh, I've done many courses at the British Racing School, um, started off on the FLP course um, and then moved on to my apprentice licence course um, where I rode as a jockey for a while and then when I retired I came back and did a racing secretaries course and I'm currently doing my uh, level three in racehorse care as well. Uh, my time at the racing school has always been a very happy time. Everyone was always so warm and welcoming. Um, you'd come in every day and learn something new. Um, obviously working with horses is such a passion of mine and everyone else here. So um, it's a really enjoyable place and I would really recommend anyone to come. Learn every day um, and everyone just tries to do their best for the horses. So before I joined the racing school I did A-levels and I used to event my own horses at home and I didn't know whether I wanted to go to university but then I found out about the British Racing School and thought that was the right path for me to take and now I've got a full-time job, getting paid and having fun at the same time. I'm really grateful to the British Racing School to get me where I am today and especially Mr Hammond who was my like trainee when I was doing the foundation course he just made my confidence so much better and now I'm here so. My name is Jaden Lee I'm 21 years old and I've been working for Nick Jensen for almost five years. I went to the BRS in September 2018 on course 325 my time at the BRS was really enjoyable as I was looking forward to the challenge because I'd never sat on a racehorse before. There was so much to learn but with the staff, pupils and horses, all the hard work was made rewarding. A week after I graduated from the racing school, I started working at Seven Barrows. I have been lucky enough to progress in my job and I have enjoyed working up to the role that I have now. I look after four horses on a day-to-day -day basis which include Constitution Hill, as just recently at the festival, he won the champion hurdle. Having a day like that at Cheltenham is something I will never, ever forget. Another is Shishkin, who was a two-time winner at the festival, but his biggest achievement was winning the big clash against the Nergamine in the Clarence House chase. I was really proud as I get to ride him every day. My time at the BRS has helped me in many ways to do the job I do today, from riding, giving support, and all the general knowledge to give me a head start in the career I chose. There is plenty to celebrate about the work of the past four decades and a huge number of people to thank for their support. But as the British Racing School celebrates its 40th birthday, a reminder that there is always more that can be done. 
The school plays a unique and vital part in training the next generation of those who will drive racing forwards with more sustainable and environmentally friendly practices, more diversity and more awareness of how to protect and promote positivity in the workplace. The British Racing School is educating people to help safeguard the future of the sport, but they can only do this with your support. So please, do get involved in any way you can. Thank you. 2023 marks our 40th anniversary year and we owe a huge debt of gratitude to all those who've supported the school over the past 40 years, the charitable trusts and foundations that have given to the school, uh, others who volunteered their time and their efforts uh, all to, to build, build the school into, into what it is today. Um, and a particular thanks must go to Ascot and Jackie Greet and her team at Ascot Supports for the, for the, the amazing support they're giving us throughout this year and, and also and in particular uh, for the making of this film. Thank you.